السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آج ہم ٹینشنل اینڈ نارمل کمپوننٹس آف ویلاسٹی اینڈ ایکسلیوشن پڑھیں گے اس سے پہلے ہم کارٹیزین کمپوننٹس اینڈ ریڈیل اینڈ ٹرانسفرس کمپوننٹس آف ویلاسٹی اینڈ ایکسلیوشن پڑھ چکے ہیں نو ایف اے پارٹیکل پی موو فرام دا پوائنٹ اے ٹو پوائنٹ بی تھرو دس پاتھ سو دس پاتھ از کال دا ٹریجیکٹری اب اگر وہ پارٹیکل ہمارا اس پوائنٹ پی پر ہے تو وی کین اسپیسیفائی دا پوزیشن آف دس پارٹیکل تھرو دس ویکٹر آر اور اگر وہ پارٹیکل یہاں سے موو کرتا ہوا پوائنٹ کیو تک چلا گیا ہے تو یہ جو ہمارے پاس کارڈ ہے پی کیو دس کین بی ریپرزینٹڈ بائی ڈیل آر ناؤ دا پوزیشن آف پارٹیکل ایٹ پوائنٹ کیو کین بی اسپیسیفائڈ بائی آر پلس ڈیل آر اینڈ دس آرک وچ از پی کیو آرک کین بی ریپرزینٹڈ بائی یو کین سی دس آرک پی کیو از ایکول ٹو del s and this pq vector is represented by del r vector now the vector v can be written as dr by dt which is the instantaneous rate of change of displacement we can write this as dr by ds and ds by dt and ds is the distance on the curve at any time from the fixed point now this ds by dt is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time so this is equal to v the velocity so vector v is equal to dr by ds dot v now as we know that instantaneous rate of change of displacement when we write it at uh, dr by dt this ko hum likh sakte hain ke limit del t approaches to zero change in displacement and change in time so similarly we can write dr by ds is equal to limit del s approaches to zero del r by del s which shows that the direction of dr by ds is along the tangent to the path at the point p so which shows that the direction of dr by ds is along the tangent to the path at the point p so let t unit vector be the unit tangent vector along the tangent to the curve at p now we need to calculate the magnitude of dr by ds which is equal to limit del s approaches to zero del r change in displacement and change in speed which is limit del s approaches to zero this del r is the length of the card pq this pq length so this is equal to length of card pq and this del s is length of this arc del s length of arc pq ab jab hamare paas ki del s kam se kam hoga approach kar raha hoga zero ko that mean agar hamare paas q yahan par hota to ye hamare paas card hoti aur ye hamare paas arc hoti in dono ki jo length mein fark hai wo iski nisbat kam hota uske baad agar hamare paas ye point q yahan par hota تو اس آر اور اس کارڈ کے بیچ کا ڈسٹینس مزید کم ہو جاتا ہے اسی طرح جب یہ ڈیل ایس اپروچز ٹو زیرو ہوگا تو ہمارے پاس دونوں کی لینتھ برابر ہو جائے گی وچ مین دس شوڈ بی ایکول ٹو ون نو دا ویکٹر از آل اباؤٹ دا ڈائریکشن اینڈ میگنیچیوڈ سو اس کا میگنیچیوڈ ہمارے پاس ون ہے اور ڈائریکشن ہمارے پاس اس کی یونٹ ویکٹر ٹی ہے سو دس از ایکول ٹو یونٹ ویکٹر ٹی اب ہم ڈی آر بائی ڈی ایس کی ویلیو یہاں پر پٹ کر سکتے ہیں یہاں پر سو وی ویکٹر ہمارے پاس ٹی یونٹ ویکٹر وی ہوگا ہمارے پاس ہینس وی ویکٹر از ایکول ٹو وی ان ٹو ٹی یونٹ ویکٹر پلس اب نارمل ویکٹر ہمارے پاس یہاں پر زیرو ہے نو دس ڈی آر بائی ڈی ایس از ٹینجنٹ ایٹ دا پوائنٹ پی اب اگر ہم اس ٹینجنٹ کے اوپر ایک لائن ڈرا کر لیں جو کہ اس کے پرپینڈیکولر ہو تو وہ ہمارے پاس اس کا نارمل ہوتا ہے دس از دا نارمل ویکٹر اینڈ دس از دا یونٹ ویکٹر T. Now the unit normal component is 0 and unit tangent component is V. 
सो हमारे पास इसका टेजेंशियल कंपोनेंट ऑफ वेलोसिटी इज इक्वल टू वी है और नॉर्मल कंपोनेंट ऑफ वेलोसिटी इज इक्वल टू जीरो है नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द नॉर्मल एंड टेजेंशियल कंपोनेंट ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन वी हैव ड्राइव दैट v can be written as plus 0 which is in fact now acceleration is equal to the derivative of velocity with respect to time which can be dv by dt v t unit vector so we can write this as dv by dt and t unit vector as it is plus dt by dt and v as it is now we have to find the magnitude and direction of this dt by dt as we know that dot product of unit vector with itself is equal to 1 so differentiate with respect to t will give us dt by dt plus dt over dt into t vector and derivative of 1 is equal to 0 now we can write the above as dt over dt t unit vector is equal to 0 and dt over dt is equal to 0 now this t is a unit vector along the tangent line and its dot product with dt over dt is equal to 0 which means dt over t is along the normal to the particle at point p unit tangent vector at the point p is t then एक लाइन जो परपेंडिकुलर हो टी से वो हमारे पास नॉर्मल वेक्टर है और इन दोनों का हमारे पास जो डॉट प्रोडक्ट होगा वो जीरो होगा सो दिस डी टी एव डी डायरेक्शन ऑफ डी डी इज अलॉन्ग द नॉर्मल यूनिट वेक्टर नो वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस डी टी एव डी टी सो लिमिट डेल टी अप्रोच टू जीरो दिस डेल टी अवर डेल टी Now we can see that कि अगर हमारे पास ये पार्टिकल पॉइंट पी पर था हमारे पास ये पॉइंट क्यू पे मूव किया और देन हमारे पास जो कार्ड होगी वो पी क्यू है और आर्क हमारे पास ये पी क्यू है लेट से अगर हमारे पास ये एंगल है साई अगर पॉइंट क्यू पे घुटा जाना है हमारे पास तो एंगल बिटवीन दम इज डेल साई Now this can be written as dv by dt, t unit vector plus change in the unit vector t. So we have this t, which is we have this angle on our side, so we can write this as change in unit vector divided by change in the angle psi into change in the angle psi with respect to change in the distance, and then change of distance with respect to change in time. Now we know that ds by dt is equal to v, so this can be written as dv by dt unit vector t plus dt over d psi, d psi over ds, and v. Now d psi by ds is actually the change of angle with respect to this change of distance, so we can write d psi by ds is equal to Curvature into velocity, so where k can be denoted by v, which can be written as one over rho v. This rho is the radius of curvature. One plus dy by dx square power three by two divided by second derivative of dy by dx. So the above expression can be written as dv by dt. T unit vector plus d t by d psi into one over rho, one over rho into v square. Now we are left with d t over d psi. As we know that t can be written as t is a unit vector, so it can be written as cos of angle. Angle here is psi, so cos of psi i plus sine of psi j. Now the unit vector. एन इसका एंगल हमारे पास बनता है अगर हमारे पास ये परपेंडिकुलर हो तो हमारे पास इसका एंगल बनता है 90 डिग्री एंड दिस इज ग्रेटर देन 90 डिग्री देन द एंगल इज 90 प्लस साई सो यूनिट वेक्टर कैन बी डन एज काज ऑफ 
90 plus psi i plus sine of 90 plus psi j. Trigonometric expansion when we open it, so open it, this will become minus sine of psi i plus cos of sin j. Now dt by d psi is equal to minus sine psi i plus cos of psi j which is equal to unit vector n. So this expression which we can write one can be written as a unit vector dv by dt is equal to dv by dt unit vector t plus 1 over rho v square and unit vector which means the tangential component of acceleration is dv by dt and normal component of acceleration is 1 over rho v square so these are the tangential and normal component of acceleration thank you very much Assalamu alaikum students in this question we have to find the tangential and normal component of its acceleration so when the particle is moving along the parabola x square is equal to 4ay with constant speed now we have x square is equal to 4ay if we differentiate with respect to x then it will be 2x is equal to 4a dy by dx and then dy by dx can be written as 2x over 4a which can be written as x over 2a now taking the derivative again it will become 1 over 2a now we have given that x is equal to square root 5a which means dy by dx is equal to square root 5a divided by 2a so we can get cancel this a and we are left with square root 5 over 2 Iskibad we know that rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx square whole key power 3 by 2 and it's divided by the second derivative with respect to x now put the values which is dy by dx power 3 by 2 and then d square y d square y over dx square is 1 over 2a then after simplifying we can write this as 2a 1 plus 5 over 4 power 3 by 2 so this is 2a 9 by 4 power 3 by 2 so this can be written as 2a 3 by 2 square multiply by 3 power 2 you can cancel 3 uh, which can be written as 2a into 3 power 3 is 27 and 2 power 3 is 8 cancel out by 4 and this is 27a by 4 now it is given in the question that particle is moving with a constant speed so when constant speed ke saath particle ki movement hai, that means then dv by dt is equal to 0 because it is a change in velocity divided by change in time and if there is a constant speed then there is no change in velocity so tangential component of acceleration is dv by dt is equal to 0 and normal component of acceleration is v square over rho is v square divided by 27a over 4 so we can write this as 4v square over 27a so this is tangential and normal component of acceleration thank you 
السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ہم ٹینشنل اینڈ نارمل کمپوننٹ آف ویلاسٹی اینڈ ایکسلریشن پڑھ رہے ہیں اور اس میں ہم ایگزامپل سالو کر رہے ہیں اب ہم ایک نیکسٹ ایگزامپل دیکھتے ہیں وچ از فائنڈ دا ٹینشنل اینڈ نارمل کمپوننٹ آف ایکسلریشن آف اے پوائنٹ ڈسکرائبنگ الپس وتھ یونیفارم اسپیڈ وی وین دا پارٹیکل از ایٹ دس پوائنٹ وچ از ایٹ زیرو بی نو ایز وی نو دیٹ دا ٹینشنل کمپوننٹ آف ایکسلریشن وچ از ریٹن ایز اے ٹی از ایکول ٹو ڈی وی بائی ڈی ٹی Let me increase the size dv by dt. Uh, now, if the particle is moving with uniform speed, then uh, dv by dt is always zero. Then the normal component of acceleration is equal to v square over rho. Now we know that rho is equal to one plus dy by dx cos square and this whole power is 3 by 2 this divided by the second derivative so first of all we can convert this equation we can take this derivative Now uh, with the cross multiplication we can write it as x square plus b square plus y square a square is equal to a square b square. Now if we differentiate with respect to x then it will be 2x b square plus 2y dy by dx a square is equal to 0 then dy by dx is equal to here term then it will be minus 2x b square or here term divide then it will be 2y a square we can cancel this too it will become minus b square x divided by a square y now the second derivative is d square y over d x square which is equal to uh, we can take the constant outside now we have to take the derivative of x over y so this can be taken as square of the denominator y as it is derivative of x which is 1 minus x as it is and then square of then derivative of y which is dy by dx so this can be written as minus b square over a squared y minus x اور ڈی وائی وائی ڈی ایکس ہمارے پاس ہے مائنس بی سکوئر ایکس ڈیوائیڈ بائی ای سکوئر وائی ڈیوائیڈ بائی وائی سکوئر سو دس کن بی ڈن ایز مائنس بی سکوئر از اور ای سکوئر انٹو وائی مائنس then minus into minus plus ho jayega aur yeh humare paas ho jayega b square x square divided by a square y and then this all is divided by y square uh, which can be written as minus b square over a square and taking the LCM we can write it as a square y square plus b square x square and then this a square y is multiplied with y square it will become a square y cube now we have to find the normal component of acceleration when the particle is at 0 b that mean value of x is 0 and value of y is b so then d square y over dx square is 
this is minus b square over a squared and this will be written as y is b and x is 0 so this will become a square b square and this x will become 0 this will become b cube x square cancelled by x square this b square cancelled with this and we are left with 1b this b will be cancelled by this square and it will become minus b over a square now we have dy over dx we also put the point 0b at this point and this will become when this x is 0 it, the whole term will become 0 right so that means your rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx which is 0 in this case or uska could be power definitely again 0 and the whole power is 3 by 2 then d square over dx square which is minus b over a square in this case and this is the mod because you positive hogi then this will become 1 over b over a square or ye hamare pass value a square over b so the normal component of acceleration which is written as a n is equal to v square over rho and this will become v square over a square over b which will be written as b v square over a square so this is the normal component of acceleration Assalamu alaikum students some tangential and normal component of velocity and acceleration may next example solve karte hain uh, is question mein hamare paas a particle is moving with uniform speed along the curve this and we have to show that the acceleration has a maximum value at 10 v square over 9 a to sabse pehle the particle hamare paas uniform speed mein move kar raha hoga that means the change in the velocity which is dv let me increase the size so change in velocity which is dv by dt is 0 because there is no change in velocity it has a uniform speed so our uh, 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 tangential component of acceleration hoga wo to hamare paas iska aagya dv by dt which is equal to 0 uh, now the normal component of uh, acceleration which is equal to v square is our rho ye hame find karna hai ab we know that ke rho is 1 plus dv by dx square and the power is 3 by 2 divided by d square v y over dx square ab hame ye dekhna hai ke we have to show that the acceleration has a maximum value its tangential component to have 0 aa gaya ab hamare paas sirf normal component hi rehta hai to is normal component ki value hamare paas tab maximum hogi jab hamare paas ye denominator ki value minimum hogi uh, for example agar hamare paas ye v square 1000 hai aur hamare paas ye rho 20 hai to iski value hamare paas you know ke 50 aa jayegi lekin agar is rho ki value hamare paas 10 hai so ye wali value hamare paas 100 aa jayegi so jaise jaise hum rho ki value ko minimize karte ja rahe hain hamare paas ye total jo acceleration ki value aa rahi hai wo maximum hoti ja rahi hai similarly agar hamare paas v square 1000 hai aur hum agar rho ki value 1 rakhe to ye hamare paas 1000 aa jayegi to maximum value hamare paas is acceleration ki tabhi aayegi jab hamare paas ye wali term hamare paas minimum hogi so we find karna hai ki ye wali term hamare paas minimum kab hoti hai acha kisi bhi function ke bare mein hum ye dekhte hain ki uska jo maximum aur minimum value hai wo nikalne ke liye hum uska derivative lete hain aur uske derivative ko hum yani ki hum d rho by dx nikalenge which this rho is a function of x to hum iska derivative with respect to x lenge aur isko equal to 0 kar denge jab hum isko 0 kar denge to uske baad hamare paas x ki jo value aayegi wo hamare paas critical points hoga तो हमारे पास किसी भी फंक्शन का मैक्सिमम या मिनिमम जो वैल्यू है वो हमारे पास एट क्रिटिकल पॉइंट्स पे लाई करता है एज वी नो दैट और फिर हम ये देखेंगे कि वो हमारे पास मैक्सिमम वैल्यू है या मिनिमम वैल्यू है 
हाँ तो सबसे पहले हम रो फाइंड करते हैं रो फाइंड करने के लिए हमारे पास डी वी डी वाई बाई डी एक्स होना जरूरी है और वाई हमारे पास ये हमारे पास फंक्शन है विच इज़ एक्स स्क्वेड वाई इज इक्वल टू ए इन टू एक्स स्क्वेड प्लस ए स्क्वेड आवर स्क्वेयर रूट फाइव तो सबसे पहले अब हम इसको डेरिवेटिव लेते हैं पहले हम एक्स स्क्र से डिवाइड कर देते हैं सो दिस टर्म विल बिकम ए स्क्वेयर आवर स्क्वेयर रूट फाइव स्क्वेयर रूट फाइव इंटू एक्स स्क्र सो विच कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन प्लस ए स्क्वेयर आवर स्क्र रूट फाइव एंड एक्स की पावर माइनस टू सो डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू ये टर्म हमारे पास वैसे ही रहेगी और वन का डेरिवेटिव हमारे पास जीरो आ जाएगा सो एक्स माइनस टू का डेरिवेटिव हमारे पास माइनस टू इंटू ए स्क्वेयर और माइनस टू माइनस वन डिवाइड बाय स्केयर रूट फाइव सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू ए स्क्वेयर एक्स पावर माइनस थ्री डिवाइड बाय स्केयर रूट फाइव So this will become so dy by dx is equal to a into minus two a square square root five x cube x ko ham lik sakte hain minus two a cube divided by square root five x cube. Or isko again ham माइनस टू ए क्यूब एक्स पावर माइनस थ्री डिवाइड बाई स्के रूट फाइव लिख सकते हैं जब हम इसका सेकेंड डेरेवेटिव लेंगे तो हम माइनस टू इंटू माइनस थ्री ए क्यूब एक्स माइनस थ्री माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई स्के रूट फाइव सो इसको हम लिख सकते हैं सिक्स ए क्यूब एक्स माइनस फोर डिवाइड बाई स्के रूट फाइव So this can be again written as six a three divided by square root five x power four. Ah, uh, अब हम ये दोनों values row में put करते हैं. This is one plus d y by d x था और d y by d x की value हमने निकाली है हमारे पास है minus two a cube divided by square root five x cube. और इसका हमें चाहिए स्क्वेयर एंड होल पावर इज थ्री बाई टू देन इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव सेकेंड डायवेटिव ऑफ वाई विच इज सिक्स ए क्यूब स्केयर रूट फाइव एक्स की पावर फोर इसको हम सिंप्लीफाई करके लिख सकते हैं इस टर्म को जब हम पर ले जाएंगे देन इट विल बिकम स्के रूट फाइव एक्स पावर फोर डिवाइड बाई सिक्स ए थ्री एंड दिस विल बिकम वन प्लस फोर ए पावर सिक्स डिवाइड बाई फाइव एक्स पावर सिक्स थ्री की पावर टू है तो थ्री इंटू टू सिक्स एंड दिस होल पावर थ्री बाई टू इसको हम मजीद सिंप्लीफाई करके लिख सकते हैं स्केयर रूट फाइव एक्स पावर फोर इंटू सिक्स ए थ्री एल सी एम हम लेंगे और उसके बाद इस टर्म को हम लिख सकते हैं फाइव एक्स सिक्स प्लस फोर ए सिक्स डिवाइड बाई फाइव एक्स पावर सिक्स पावर थ्री बाई टू इस टर्म को हम मजीद सिंप्लीफाई करते हैं x पावर फोर सिक्स ए क्यूब दैन दिस विल बिकम फाइव एक्स पावर सिक्स प्लस फोर ए सिक्स की पावर थ्री बाई टू जो डिनोमिनेटर में टर्म है उसका हम पावर अलादा से ले लेते हैं जिसको हम दोबारा लिख सकते हैं x पावर फोर अवर सिक्स ए क्यूब Then we can write it as five six plus four a power six whole power three by two. Or, जब हम इसकी power three by two लेंगे तो इस five को हम ले सकते हैं five into square root five. This is one or this is one by two. One into one by two is three by two. 
So 5 power 3 by 2 can be written as 5 into square root 5 and this x will become power 9. So square root 5, square root 5 cancel, this x power 4 will cancel with 5. So this whole term will become 5x key power 4 plus sorry 5x key power 6 plus 4a key power 6 then power 3 by 2 divide by 30 a cube x 5 ye hamare paas rho ki value aa gayi now to find the maximum or minimum value of rho we have to find the derivative of x aur quotient rule hum is pe apply karenge derivative ka to hamare paas we can write it as 130a cube or x ki power 5 ka square x power 5 as it is or hum is term ka derivative lenge which is 3 by 2 into 5x power 6 plus 4a ki power 6 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2 and the derivative of inner term which is 30x5 uh, then minus our numerator key term as it is or denominator ka which is x5 is ka derivative which is 5x4 ab iski simplification karne ke baad jo hamare paas result aayega wo it is 5x ki power 6 plus 4a power 6 ki power 1 by 2 divide by 6a cube and the second term will be 4x power 6 minus 4a power 6 divided by x power 6. Uh, now to find the maximum or minimum value of rho, we have to put d rho by dx is equal to 0. d rho by dx is equal to 0. Now this term will become 0 when 4x power 6 minus 4a power 6 is equal to 0. So we can write it as 4x power 6 is equal to 4a power 6. So x power 6 is equal to a power 6 which is equal to x is equal to a. Or we can take this 5x power 6 plus 4a power 6 is equal to 0. Uh, now we know that the x is equal to a is the critical point. अब हम x से पहले वाली वैल्यू अगर हम x minus a put करते हैं हमारे पास d rho by dx में तो इसमें हमारे पास d rho by dx less than zero आएगा और जब हम x greater than a put करते हैं तो हमारे पास d rho by dx greater than zero आता है that means ये हमारे पास कुछ इस किस्म की curve बनेगी कि इससे पहले वाली जो values हैं वो हमारे पास less than zero आ रही हैं और उसके बाद वाली values यानी फर्स करें हमारे पास row यहाँ पे है अगर हमारे पास x is equal to a की वैल्यू यहाँ पर है, हमारे पास d rho by dx हमारे पास less than zero आ रहा है और d rho by dx greater than zero, so that means के x is equal to a भी हमारे पास rho की वैल्यू मिनिमम होगी। so अब हम rho की जो वैल्यू हमने पहले निकाली थी ये वाली, इसमें अब हम बुट करते हैं x is equal to a क्योंकि हमें पता है कि so 5a power 6 plus 4a 6 power 3 by 2 and 30a cube a 5 so this will become 1 over 30a 8 into 27 a 9 after the simplification which is equal to 9a over 10 अब हमने ये देख हमारे पास ये वैल्यू 9a over 10 हार रही है रो की और हमें नॉर्मल कंपोनेंट ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन व्हिच इज v स्क्वायर ओवर v रो है ये चाहिए तो नॉर्मल कंपोनेंट ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन इज इक्वल टू v स्क्वायर ओवर रो v स्क्वायर और रो की वैल्यू मिनिमम हमने देख ली किस जगह पे है व्हिच इज 9a over 10 तो रो की वैल्यू मिनिमम हमारे पास है 9a over 10 पे दैट मीन के हमारे पास एक्सेलरेशन मैक्सिमम होगा एट दिस वैल्यू so this is equal to 10 v square divided by 9 a uh, which we have to prove then we have 10 v square over 9 a 
हमने इशू किया कि हमारे पास जो एक्सलूशन है उसकी वैल्यू मैक्सिमम होगी एट टेन वी स्क्र अवर नाइन ए पर थैंक यू वेरी मच